Our son, Holden, uh, loves to travel, trips to China, Thailand, New Zealand, North Africa. Uh, he had a girlfriend that was the love of his life. We could tell that that was, she was very special to him. Uh, he liked to ski and snowboard, mountain bike and longboard. I think he was pretty good at longboarding, but unfortunately that's actually what broke his arm that led to the surgery. He was 24, uh, was going to University of North Texas. He one night fell when he was longboarding, shattered his arm and had to have surgery to repair the fractures and put pins in place. He had surgery to repair his arm on May 28th of 2017. And following the surgery, the surgeon prescribed 20 oxycodones and then referred him to a pain specialist. Uh, we did not know what was being prescribed. We knew he was seeing a pain specialist. Um, on September 15, he picked up a prescription, a 30-day supply of oxycodones. We found out later that when he picked up that 30-day supply on September 15, that brought the total number of oxycodone pills, the total number of oxys that he'd been prescribed in three and a half months to 600 pills. We had no idea. And I picked that up on the 15th, 10 days later, on September 25th, on my wife's birthday, we found him. The cause of death was opioid overdose. One month after our son's death, we attended the International Overdose Awareness Day on Denton County Square. And that was really the first time we'd actually even heard about the need for naloxone and the use of it. And we received some that day. We, you know, we live with the we live with the loss every day, but we also live with the fear that somebody else will overdose and I won't have the means to save them when I should have. So uh, I carry naloxone everywhere I go. My wife does too. Uh, we talk to people about it. Uh, this disease of addiction, everybody needs to do anything they can so that another son, daughter, parent, sibling, best friend, even a stranger is not lost to this disease of addiction if you can help it.